Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using clickers in your classroom. But before we do that, you might want to know what the heck clickers are. So at its most simple, clickers is a system in which your students have printed QR codes. And if you look closely, you'll notice there's a number on the QR code and each side of it has a letter. That's important. Your students will have the QR codes. You can print these out on cardstock or you can use laminated ones like the ones I have here, but you can print them for free from clickers.com. The other piece you need is the app installed on your mobile device of choice, whether that's an iPad or an Android device like mine right here. You can see I have my Plickers class already open on my device. Now, I will ask my class this question. Have you seen a moose recently? And there's the answer choices. And we'll see now, when I press the scan button, that circle right down there, when I press that scan button, all my students can hold up their cards and I can scan them to get their feedback by simply scanning their cards. And we'll see, there's card 37 that now has a no as a response. Now I could do another card here. Let's scan another card. There's card 34. Oh, card 34. Let's give it a scan. There it is. It's now shown up as answer choice B. Now what's important to note about those cards is that in this case my students only had an answer choice of a or b b and if they didn't hold up a or b it didn't register their response but i could create a question that has four answer choices to it and now let's go ahead and take a look at how to actually create a class in clickers so Here's my Plickers account. You can see there's a question we just played and I'm going to stop taking answers in it right now. Let's close out of that. And I'm in my account. Let's create a new class right now. You can see I can import from Google Classroom or I can create a class from scratch. Spring Demo 2023 is the name of my new class. And now I can add students. Let's put in a list of student names. And you can see I have now five students in my class and they'll all be assigned a card one through five in this particular instance. So every card has a number. I'll give Brad Pitt card number one, George Clooney card number two, Babe Ruth will get card three, Walter Johnson gets four, and Nolan Ryan gets card number five. Now, I don't have any questions queued up for this class. You can see no items queued for Spring Demo 2023. So, Let's create one. And we're going to add right here my Summer Facts 2020. No, we're not going to use that one. I don't want to use that, that set because it's kind of dated. So let's go up here and create a new set. And we'll call this one Spring 2023 Fun Questions. And we'll edit the question and we'll call this one where is the tallest mountain in the united states and i'll give some answer choices here and let's make sure we have the correct answer choice indicated. 
And you can see over here on the right hand side, if I wanted to, I could add an image, video, sound clip, or even a GIF or a GIF to this question. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. Let's add another fun question. Who was the main character that portrayed a retired baseball player on the 80s TV show Cheers. Let's just say who was the actor. And let's put in some answer choices here. And we'll have our answer choices. And now our question is complete. And I can continue to add questions to this set that I've made. But for now, let's just click Add to Queue. And let's add that to my Spring 2023 demo class. And now let's go back here to my library. We'll see all of my questions. And we can now go to my Spring 2023 demo class. And we will see this set of questions that I'm now going to add to the queue. And when we're ready, we'll hit play now. And that will appear not only here on my computer screen, but also on the app that I have installed on my phone. And once again, as soon as I play the game with my phone or play the activity with my phone and I click that scan button, my students then hold up their cards and I scan all of them. So that's a short overview of what you can do to get started using clickers. It's a great little feedback system to use in your classroom with nothing more than some QR codes printed on index cards and the app installed on your phone or tablet. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetech4teachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.